Hello, my friends. May God bless you very much, at least as much as he has blessed my life. That's what I, I desire for you. Listen, today I want to start talking about, actually, this whole week I'll be talking about this. I don't know for how long, but I know that we are going to be touching on this subject, the most sensitive area of a man's life here on earth, which is marriage. Marriage. Because, unfortunately, what we are seeing nowadays is a total mess from hell in the life of human beings because of liberty. Men, human beings, do not want to submit to the rules and the discipline established by God. The first thing God established in this world after having created men was marriage. Marriage, my dear friend, is not just the union of two people, a man and a woman. No, marriage is a symbol, is a representation of the marriage, of the union, of the commitment, the covenant between mankind and God. So you can notice now that marriage isn't isn't as we have seen around, marry and, and unmarry and divorce and divorce. No, that's not what marriage is. Marriage, my friend, is a is the mo is the holiest, the most sacred institution that exists on earth. That's what marriage is. Did you know that? No, you didn't know. You didn't know. But we are going to see during our meditations here, our daily meditations, that marriage is the basis, is the foundation. It's the solid ground for a person to build their life throughout eternity. We are going to be sharing our own experiences because I have also been single. I know what it's like to be single. I know what it's like trying to do what is right and find the right person and so on. We are going to, to talk about this subject. However, if you notice, if you read Psalm 128, Psalm 128 is the Psalm that mentions, that touches this most sensitive area of a human being. Because Psalm 128 says like this, Blessed, it starts like this, blessed meaning happy, happy is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. So happy is everyone, happy is everyone, man, and woman as well, of course, a woman also. Happy or blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. So, from that moment, a man or a woman starts to build their life, their spiritual life. That's it. Because first is the Lord. First, he, he mentions the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord. So it starts there, the fear towards God. When a person fears God, meaning his relationship with God, then they walk in his ways, and they walk in his ways according to his holy word. So they become blessed, blessed. 
happy on earth. I remember that right after my encounter with God, my conversion, the Lord Jesus revealed himself to me. Actually, the Holy Spirit revealed Jesus to me. Then the first thing that I wanted after my encounter with God, meaning the vertical beam of the cross, then I wanted a person who would complete me, who would become Esther. So at the age of 19, I had my encounter with God, but I only met her at the age of 26. So seven years went by in order for me to, to meet her. But as long as I would meet her, I was making a lot of mistakes. I was trying here, trying here and there, and so on. You can, you can understand. So my youth was, my, my youth was a bit disoriented because I wanted to find a person who had the same spirit that I had because the truth is that the cross, the cross is like this. A cr the cross, the vertical beam, the material of the vertical beam is the same material of the horizontal beam, which are the arms. So the arms of the cross, they have to come from the same material which is the foot, the, the, the vertical beam. So for seven years, I was seeking, I was trying to find someone who truly was made of the same material that I had met in, in my Lord, in my fear of God. So I wanted direction, I wanted to know who would that person be, oh my God, give me direction, I know that marriage, I, I had this understanding. Back then, at the age of 19, I had this understanding that my salvation, my relationship, my fear with God would have to be fundamented, based on my wife, because if I by any chance didn't have a wife according to the spirit, the fear of the Lord, I would not be able, I wouldn't be able to guarantee, I wouldn't be able, let's say, to maintain my salvation. It's not that my salvation would come from my wife, no, but she would help me because she was created to help men. Eve was created to help Adam. The same term, the same term that said I would make him a suitable helper is the same word, the, the root of the word is the same of that which Jesus said concerning the Holy Spirit, which was the helper. So, in order for us to be able to live in this world and overcome and defeat hell and darkness in the world and remain saved, we need the Holy Spirit. He is our comforter. He is our helper. That's what God did when He established marriage. See, the holiness, the seriousness of marriage. And many people they already marry, oh, thinking, if it doesn't work, I have a plan B. If you get married, thinking of a plan B, then you can be sure that you, you have to use plan B. And I know 
that many get married with plan B, C, D, E, F, even Z. Because, because they do not want to be alone. They do not want to remain solitary. So they do anything, they do any kind of business in order to have somebody by their side. But God doesn't want to just give us somebody. He wants to give us a person who will add, who will add to our lives, who will add to us, and so form the cross. So, my friend, we are going to be dealing with this subject from today, and I want to invite you you who have been facing problems in your marriage, you who are experiencing problems in your marriage, and you are of God. For example, you are of God, you are a woman of God, filled with the Holy Spirit, but your husband is not. Your husband isn't, but if you are of God, then you have to bless your husband, not to leave him. No, I'm going to leave him. No. You have to bless him because you are of God. If you are a man of God and your wife isn't, then you have to bless your wife. Your testimony, your conduct in your house, inside your house, in regards to her or in regards to him, has to be an example so that through your conduct, him or her may come to God. So don't come with, plan a, with a plan B. Oh, I'll, I'll get a divorce and get a man of God or a woman of God. No, don't do that. If you don't resolve this problem now, you won't resolve the other ones afterwards. So the happiness, the happiness of a man first starts with his relationship, his marriage his covenant with God, which is the fear of the Lord. And then, afterwards, comes her husband or his wife. And only then, when both get married and they fit in and they complete one another, then the cross is formed, which Jesus said we should carry. He said, whoever wants to come after me, let him deny himself, you have to deny yourself, take up your cross and follow him day after day. Tomorrow we are going to be talking about this a bit more, but I'd like to leave the invitation here so that you, every Thursday, you have a problem in your marriage. On Thursdays, in the Temple of Solomon, Bishop Renato, and Cristiane Cardoso, they both, the couple, are always be giving directions to help you in your love life. Here in the Holy Ground in Brasilia, we always have Bishop Wagner and a special guest, a couple, a couple that I would say who is a reference because if you didn't know, you should know. In the universal church, every pastor has to be very well married. If he is not well married, then he doesn't. He's not suitable to be on the altar. He has to be well married. So in every universal church, the pastors are well married. They have to be well married. Because if they are not well married, they are not suitable to be pastors. That's the reality. If you or if I do not live in, in a communion with God, if I live a communion with God, then I will have the same communion with my wife and vice versa. And we will then be able to testify of the salvation of our covenant with God. Now, if I am defeated in my marriage, how am I going to have authority to pray for your house and for your family and your marriage? So, in the universal church of the kingdom of God, we base marriage as fundamental 
in order for our faith and salvation to be maintained in Jesus' name. May God bless you all and see you tomorrow. This Thursday, here in Brasilia, we will have the presence of Bishop Adilson and his wife Rosanna, alongside with Bishop Wagner and his wife Vanya. And there in the Temple of Solomon, you have Bishop Renato alongside with Cristiano Cardoso. May God bless you all in Jesus' name and see you tomorrow.